guys, this is Eunice, and welcome to my channel. Uh, today was going to be a thrift and haul, a book haul. Uh, I do have quite a few books this time. I won't say a little mini book haul because I think I got more than I had actually intended to get. But anyway, uh, I got talking to the ladies. They are so nice out there. They're so happy I'm getting those books. Uh, they said that they get those books in all the time, so they're happy that I'm getting those books and things like that. And one of the ladies even went back in when she asked me, like, what kind of books am I looking for? And I told her, and she went back in there and found some cookbooks and stuff, uh, and brought back out, you know, so that I could get them and so forth. I did take a few of those, uh, not very many. So, it is book haul time and coffee time coffee does good with books like you grab a cup of coffee and you just grab a book and read it so it's coffee and book time so let's get this haul started you hear hardly playing to himself he is crazy like that okay this book has some writing in it on the back and so far okay this book here is how to start making money without uh with your craft excuse me uh how to start making money with your craft um and everything uh a very good book um and i decided yeah i definitely wanted to get this book now the book does not have any writing or anything in it and so far but it does have some writing in the very back of it and so far i guess somebody wrote some notes and things like that but it's a perfectly good book and it will help you uh then i'm a crafter too and one of the things about you know making money on your craft and so far uh major thing is pricing and so far uh, and I'm still having issue with pricing uh, items that I do craft because I do have some of my crafted items on my website as well and everything. And it's very, very hard for you to uh, pay yourself uh, what to charge and things like that. So I think this book here will help you with all those issues that we do have and so far. Uh, once we learn how to make something and we make it really nice and so forth and it is markable and so forth, uh, then we need to have, need to learn how to market it and how to price it, which is the hardest thing for any crafter or any beginning crafter and all that. Okay, so I got that for you. Alrighty, you know I'm big with cookbooks even though I don't know why the cookbooks don't sell as fast. Because uh, I know people love to eat. <clears throat> and I know that they do like different recipes here. Uh, this is the dessert Bible um, by Christopher Kimball um, on desserts and so far. Uh, if you are a big, big dessert person, a little sweets like I do, my mom, she, God rest her soul, she, she, she had a, what they call, old folks call it a sweet tooth. <laughs> so she passed down her sweet tooth to me so i do have a sweet tooth and i just thought i'll pick this up because i know there is a lot of people um that have sweet tooth as well as i do <laughs> okay this is a cute little cookbook um by uh, it's Paul Newman um, cookbook, uh, Hole in the Wall Gang, and so far, guest cookbook by his family, and this and that, so far. And I do like um, Paul Newman, and uh, I have heard uh, quite a few people, you know, say, um, you know, talk about his cookbook and his cooking. And uh, he also makes some kind of famous sauce, and so far. So I think I'll go ahead and pick it up. Now, I have done the comps on these books, too, and what I'm trying to do is cherry pick my books and so far, and I want the comps to be at least $20 or more, even though I do have a few books in here that are not $20. Some of them is $16, and I think the lowest one is like $12 and so far, but okay, you know, it's okay. All righty. I almost did pick this book up and so far, but I said, what the heck, you know what I mean? 
Uh, this is a culture of corruption, uh, Obama and his team, and so forth and everything. And uh, I'm not going to say anything that you haven't already heard. So, anyway, I've decided to pick this book up. And you can read it for yourself to see what's going on. Okay. This is a great book. Um, I did take a, take the time to scan through a little bit of the um, information on this particular book. This is The Island Walkers, a novel by John Bimrose and so forth. So this is a very interesting book, uh, and I definitely decided I wanted to pick this up um, and so forth. Now, let me tell you guys, books are a great gift during Christmas holidays. Easy to ship. People get them, love them, and read them, you know, read it throughout the year and so forth. So, these are great gifts and so far. Uh, and I may have one of those books that you know, um, that you've been wanting to get. Uh, you know, send somebody to my Pango bookstore. HTTPS, semicolon, backslash, backslash, Pango, P-A-N-G-O, books.com, slash, bookstore, slash, UNIS, me, E-U-N-I-C-E. Two six one two four seven, and here's Harley to greet you again. Harley, okay, enough. Okay, the lady at the library actually recommended this book. Don't you even think about going to my coffee, Harley? This dog wants to drink coffee. What is up with that? He usually scared us on uh, coffee because you can see the steam coming off of it. But he'll lick that cup in a heartbeat and might even lick in the inside. You don't keep your eye on him. He's slick. Okay, she recommended this book here. She said a lot of people are still looking for this book, are still using these diets, the South Beach diet, and so forth. And I did do the comp on it. Comp is not very good. I think it's like one of those $12 books that I mentioned. But, like I said, I picked that one up because I do have that. Meals in Minute is another cookbook and so far. Now, this is a great little book, and the comps is really pretty good on this book here. So, I definitely wanted to pick this up. Oh, and also, too, it has little notes where you can enhance the recipe, add your own little notes and stuff to it and all that. So, this is a very nice book. And yeah, with every recipe, they got notes and reminder. Uh, so you can like, if you want to, you know, do your little thing to any of these recipes, you just jot down what you're doing on the side. Perfect book, perfect. No one of the cons was good. Now, I don't know what the comp is on this book here. I didn't do it because some of the books I just said I'm going to pick up because I'm going to lock them together and I can figure I get what I want out of these books. Uh, this is Kevin Trudeau uh, with um, Natural Cures Revealed, more Natural Cures Revealed. Uh, and this one here is Kevin Trudeau. They don't want you to know about uh, Natural Cures. They don't want you to know about. So I figured I'd pick both of these books up and lock them together and so far. And a lot of people do love uh, these type of books. I personally love these type of books because I am a herbalist. And I do believe in natural cures, natural healing, and natural foods that help you to heal. So I definitely was going to pick this book up no matter what the price is. Uh, so I don't even know what the comps is. I'll have to check. Okay, ain't it gonna get in that yet? Let's see. I found another JD Rob and so far, and um, I didn't do the comps on this either because JD Rob books are so great. Um, and I already have two, so what I'm going to do is just lock this book with the other two that I have, and instead of having a two, um, two JD Rob, I'll have three a lot of three which will give me a better price and so far uh, for his books okay this is a nice um i think it feels like leather a nice um leather 
uh, back cookbook and so forth. It feels good. It feels like it could be some kind of leather. Uh, I'm not sure if it's real leather, but it feels like leather. Okay, it says cool tip 16 minutes. Flavors of Shabana Park. Now, this is another one that the young lady recommends uh, to me and so forth for as the cookbooks are concerned. And actually, this one here does do well. Uh, the comps are really good on this particular book right here. So, I'm glad that she recommended it to me um, and everything. So, this is a good book. There's lots of flavoring and so forth and all that. So, I'm glad I got that. Decided to get it. Uh, this is a new Bible. Um, Looks like somebody might have spilled something right there. A little stain. But this is a new Bible that has not been used. Uh-oh. I just said that wrong. But anyway. Oh, uh, God. Why would anybody tear pages in the Bible? So this might be a mistake here. And so forth. And I may just have to keep this one myself. So I'm not even going to talk about it. Okay, let's move on. Okay, ancient, the everyday life of the ancient Anakas. Okay, this is a nice book. Great book. Yeah, I usually do fly through the pages and so forth and when I'm uh, thrifting books. You have to and so far and for some reason that book just looked like it was new from the outside so I did not bother checking it all that way apparently but anyway it's okay uh, this is a great book a lot of beautiful illustrated pictures in here art architecture re religions everyday life and cultures of the civilization of the Indies in South America explored in 500 color painting, drawings, and photographs, and so forth. I figure somebody might want to see this book. It's a nice book. Okay. Okay. Now, I did see some other books when I did the comps on this book here. This is Total Mediation. Uh, meditation, excuse me, Mediation. Thinking about the legal service now. Uh, total meditation and so forth. So this is a nice little book and also uh, you don't have many of these books and uh, on and everything So I decided yes, I would definitely pick this book up uh, There's no damage or anything to it and this book will help you and the cost was pretty good on this book as well I looked for more in rice uh, books and so far the comps was really good on this particular book this book is like in new old like new condition and so far um and you know and rice writes those vampire books and scary books and all that craziness and so forth and things like that now i looked at a lot of her uh shows on television and so far and everything um and uh, and it says right here uh, new tales of the vampires. So, and this is Anne Rice's book and so forth. And the cost was really good on this book. Really good. I do not know why that page is sticking out. Mm, okay. All righty. Okay, so I did get to bundle up Robin Cook. Uh, Robin Cook is a writer uh, about medical um, stuff. Um, I think he wrote the uh, book and they turned it into a series. Uh, Outbreak with, um, I'm trying to think of that guy's name. Um, that uh, was the, I know um, Morgan Freeman was in it in that uh, movie and so far. So I decided to get, I didn't do a comp on these either. I'm going to bundle these together. So whatever the comp is on the individual books and so forth, I'll still get what I want for these two books. And these are really good books. He is a really excellent writer. I did, I have read a couple of his books and so far uh, before and everything. So that's the reason I know he writes a lot, a lot about medical uh, mysteries and things like that. So. Uh, be into that. Okay. Uh, this is a cocktail Bible. Um, 
I see so much um about cocktail restaurants and all this and that stuff on the news and so forth. It's a freaking commercial. We don't even get good news. We just get commercials. But anyway, um, we do get the weather. <laughs> so if, you know, you party lovers or who loves to entertain and so forth, this is a great little book. It's a cocktail Bible. It gives you every kind of cocktail um, that you want. Also, too, this is one of the books that was recommended to me, uh, and I did do a comp on this book, and it is pretty good. So, this is a pretty decent book. I did scan through. I'm not a drinker. I do drink a little bit of wine every blue moon uh, or whatever and so forth, like during the holidays and things like that and so forth. I do drink a little wine and all that, but I'm actually not a drinker, so, uh, and we don't do a lot of entertainment. So, but I think for the people that do, that is a good book to have. Change it up. Change it up. Change up your drinks. Change up your meals. Change it up. If you're entertaining, keep it. Change it up. So that you, your gas and so forth will get, you know, different taste buds and so forth and all that. Okay. Uh, Secrets of the Millionaire's Mind. Um, this is a great little book. Honey, do not do that. He wants to bark at the mailman. Uh, this is a nice little book here. Uh, and this book here comes pretty good on that. And plus, who doesn't want to know the secrets of a millionaire mind? Read that book, you might become a millionaire. Okay, this is also a pretty good book. The Age of Miracles. Very good book. I scanned through it a little bit, and uh, the cons was also on, good on this book. So, we do have more. Okay, we do have more. Okay, we have, I've actually read this book and seen the movie, uh, Executive Orders uh, by Tom Clancy. Look how thick that book is, Lord have mercy. Um, but I read it, it was paperback and just as thick. And Finding, Firing Point, and so forth. And these are two great books. Tom Clancy is one of my um people that i love to read because it's about all that spy that military stuff the mystery what's going on blah 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 anyway i always say i'm a mystery buff and i do love mystery more than anything but i do read scott toro john grisham with the legal um legal issues and so forth and things like that and i had to also read scott um tom uh, clancy <laughs> believe it or not I actually have read his books. <laughs> I have. And I've seen that movie. Okay. Aaron Lasky, Outwitting History, and so forth. I thought this was a pretty good book, pretty good title, in great shape, and all that. And also, I figured I'd pick this book up to see what is going on. Outwitting History. Maybe it's something to that. Uh, the Jesus Proposal. I definitely wanted to get this book, scan through it, and all this and that, because it sounds very interesting. Uh, it's a theological um, framework from main for maintaining the unity of the body of Christ, and so forth. And I am all into that. All in. Okay. I did pick up this book here, Close to Home, Revisited. Um, I believe this is like a, a child, children's book, and so far, and it was very interesting, and so far, and I always like to pick up, um, a children's book when I can, so I just thought that I would pick this one up, and everything. I think this is the only one that I have. The other one that I picked up, uh, did not mount too much, as, as far as for resale, I'll have to rewarm that coffee, but it is getting cold. 
Now, I did decide to get this book. I've seen these books before, but I never really paid them any mind. But uh, I did do some comps on these books and found out that these books are actually um, at least $24. You can get at least $24, $23 for this particular book. And so far, so I definitely wanted to pick that up. Okay. Now, the big reveal... Uh, I am a fan of Back From Burnout, um, and actually a lot of the stuff that I learned for selling books has been from her, because I never sold books before. I used to read all the time, but never sold books. So, um, I needed all the help that I could get, uh, in learning to sell books, what to sell, and all this and that, and stuff. So, she called these booms and moons, or whatever that was. Booms and Moons books. What they are are actually um, little romance novels. And so for Harlequin romance novels. And today I bought a large stack of them. Here is one stack of those booms and moons. Okay, let me sit that there. Here is another stack of booms and moons. I actually got two books of the same. I was grabbing so hard. <laughs> oh my world. Okay. And this is the third stack. So, I don't know exactly how many books I got, and I noticed right away that I did have uh, one of the same books, and so far, hopefully I don't have any more of that. I'm looking at the titles right now to make sure, um, and all that. So, it looks like all of these have different titles and all that. So, but yeah, this is the uh, last stack here, and so far, so... I'm going to give it a go on these booms and moons, and I think I'm going to do like three, um, I guess three, three lots, um, uh, or I might just do one big lot, I don't know, uh, yeah, I didn't do the comps on those either and so forth, because I know they're about maybe three or four dollars each or something like that, and the only way you can make money on these type of books and so forth, you do have to like, you know, do a lot and all that. So that's the uh, books I have today. Quite a few, quite a few. So I've got a lot of work to do with listing and all that and everything. And I actually got to do the comps on some of those books, like I said, and, and all that. So I'm very excited. Uh, I'm excited that the, um, I got a chance to talk to the librarians, the ladies that work there. Uh, I got it. It makes me feel good that they say that you know, get what you want, get what you want. They love it when you go there. Now, even though they do have a price, uh, where you you know, uh, put in your for your books and things like that and so far, uh, they tell you how much the uh books are and all that and um, you know, and you just stick the money. Once you get your book, get your haul. You just stick to your money into that uh book slot thing that they got sitting out there for you and so far. So I'm very glad that, you know, and they get books in all the time. They refill that thing all the time. So, you know, I'm very happy that, you know, I can go out there and get this amount of books and so far and everything. So it was a good day, a good morning all together. And thank you guys for joining me. And um, like I said, I wanted to show you the other part of the library and so far do a thrift and haul. But I got talking to them, so then I just ended up going doing the books and so forth, and then I paid for that. But maybe next time I'll show you the other half. Well, once you see one library, you see them all. There's no need to show you the library each time I go in because it's pretty much the same. It's not changing. And so, <laughs> so I will see you on the next video. Bye.